Hello, I'm Ilan, CEO of Consulto, and I'm super thrilled that you joined us for this session. Uh, during this uh, video, I'm going to walk you through the system uh, that we built. Uh, but before we go through all the nits and grits of the system, I wanted to share with you why we built Consulto. We built it to help you simplify, organize, and boost your meetings with online customers. What that means is it will help you uh, create these meetings with a frictionless uh, manner, then organize all the data that streams out from these meetings. And lastly, we're going to help you boost the interactions with these meetings. And I'll explain each and every one of these in the next session. So let's start. This is our website, uh, www.consulto.com. And here on the right, we have the first com component that I want to talk about is the Consulto widget. So you can basically install the Consulto widget on your website. And that's one of three main components in Consulto. The other component is the back office. I'm going to log in to Consulto, and here we'll see my back office. Here, the agents and the consultants can manage all the interactions with their customers. The last one is, or the last component is the click and talk page. The click and talk page is basically a replication of the widget in terms of functionality, okay? But um, it's a unique and permanent link that you can use. So what do we have here in the Consulto widget? I'm gonna open our website again. And we can see that we have multiple agents on the widget. And I'll explain in a moment why. But when I open the widget, I can see I have video calls, chats, contact forms, scheduling, so scheduling module, and links to WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. In order to play with all this and check and see how this system it behaves. There is one thing, and if there's one thing that I want you to remember from this session, it's this button. You go to the widget center, and here on the right, you click this demo page. It will immediately open a two side page for you, where on the left side, you see the agent side or the consultant side, and on the right side, you see the client side or your website or our website where the widget is installed in. So let's see how it works. I'm going to give a call immediately on the agent side. We see the incoming call. I'm going to hit OK. And we can see that the call started from within the website. OK, no jumping to any other domain or anything. This is super good for SEO, for example, because people that come to your website, they just stay more. And in addition, all the interaction happens within your brand and everything. So this is one of the features. Obviously, it's tied to text chat. So the text with the customers is happening in the same place. And I'll show all this in a few moments. And the same applies to all the other features of the widget. So just one last thing. Just remember this two-side demo page. Okay. Again, you go to the back office, you go to the widget center over here. Okay, this is this tab. And you click the demo page over here. Now, we already know what the widget can do. Let's see what we have in the back office. First, we have the overview tab. It's the first tab from the left. We can see here stats about our interactions with customers, about visits on our website, uh, about chats that we had, those that were responded and those that were unattended. We can also see voice messages that were left for us and unread messages. And let's give it a try. We also see voice message here on the right and text messages that were left for us. We can play with the amount of time or the range of time that is being shown here, which is also great. Uh, another thing that we, I wanted to discuss before we move to the next tab is the higher bar here. The higher bar here shows us which tab we're on, the menu or the tabs that we can uh, switch, 
This is the help desk where you can start an initial tour or a guided tour, uh, go to our knowledge center, go to our troubleshooting pages, uh, see our roadmap, give us feedback, share ideas, and contact us. If I hit this contact us, we will see our own widget popping up because we're using our technology on our app. So this is this. I'm going to reload this so we can see all that in action in a few moments. All right, the other few things here that we have is the sound. This will uh, remove the sound when, uh, whenever people chat with me or come to our website. Um, the widget, it turns the single widget, and I'll talk about why we have a single and a multi-widget in a few moments. So this turns the single widget off. And here I determine my availability. I can be online, busy, or offline. Whenever, whenever I'm on a video call, this goes automatically to busy, unless I was offline before. And then when I finish the call, it goes back to available. And last, if I want to log out, I hit this button over here with this carrot. Okay, let's move to the next tab, the chat center. The chat center is basically where you manage all your communication with customers. And we have here all the communication with all customers. So every uh, item here is a customer that I communicate with. And some of them have their names in case they left their names and some don't. I can also write their names here in the per personal pro details on the right or the profile. Um, a little bit of these uh, color color coding of these cues, so we can see that the gray ones are on our website. Okay, Consulta is open on their on their browser, but they're not browsing this our page uh, at the same moment. Um, offline is black. Red means that we have a um, notification which we haven't read yet, and Green means that they're on our website and they're watching our website. Let's see this in action. Look, this will turn green in a moment and you see it turned green. Why? Because we were watching this widget, which is on our website. So in this and this are connected. All right, let's move to the um, other panel. The right panel here shows the profile with this specific customer. So this is my demo or my test customer. Okay, this is myself on my website. And if I send a chat message, and we'll see it here, we'll immediately see it popping up here as well. By the way, if I'm not browsing the chat and I get a meeting, I also get a notification here on Consulto. But if I'm on the chat center, you will not see these notifications for every, um, every single chat message. Um, another thing that we have here in the chat center and I'm going to talk about this chat box a little bit, is we have all the interactions. When I say interactions, it doesn't only mean chat. We can see here contact forms that were sent by this customer. We can see images that were sent by the customer or by myself, and we can download them. Um, we can see voice messages. So for example, I can leave a voice message to my customer and they can leave a voice message to me. The way to do this is you just hit this microphone here. Hey, hi, how are you? And then we'll suddenly see a new voice message popping up. Let's do this again so you just see it in action. See, another voice message. Um, so images, as I mentioned, I can keep my private notes here. So anything that I wanna save about this session or, or about my customer will be save, saved here and my customer will not get it. And that's, oh, and video recording. So this is a ni nice feature. Um, instead of having video recording saved somewhere in the cloud, not attached to this specific customer, we put it in the customer feed. So anytime I wanna go back to a, a discussion that I had, I can go to this customer and watch the video. I can also send it by the way, or download it or delete it. So I can share it and that's uh, what we can do here. Okay, if I have a customer on my website and I want to call them, that's a, that's a common question. Can I call them? And the answer is yes. If they're on your website right now, for example, they're green, 
or gray, you can send them a call request. Let's see what it will look like. I will send a call request. And here I can either accept or decline. If I accept, the call will start and I will get the call request and I will be able to answer it again from the website. Another way or another thing that we can do is we can request payments. This is a cool feature if you want to ask for money for the session. You can do it during the chat or prior to the chat. The way to get this uh, working is by adding some amount of per, uh, money and choosing the currency and then sending a request. The customer will get the request and a few moments later and they can choose to pay. You got here a message, payment request got to destination. Now, then if they select to make the payment, they will see a PayPal uh, screen. And once they pay, you will be notified here as well. If, I can't, if they cancel or don't finish it, you will also be notified here, payment failed. Okay, um, we can also, as I mentioned, keep notes of the meetings and we can send files. Let's go, we can send a file. So this is a cool feature. You can just select a file and send it to the other side. Uh, yeah, for example, one of the images and I can select it and send it. Um, all right, let's move this a little bit. And the last thing that we can see here is the 3D Sense. So the 3D Sense is a cool feature that really boosts your interaction with customers. Let's see how it works. Basically, if a customer is on my website and we're already in a chat or in a video call, I can pop up this 3D Sense where I can choose uh, images that I uploaded beforehand. Once I select an image, it will be shown to both, both sides. Um, and I can play with it. I can move it around. And the other side can also do that. They can move it around. So for example, if my customer wants to show me, hey, look at this flashlight or this this wheel or this tire or whatever, uh, they can just show me it in action and I can see exactly what they're talking about. So these two images are fully synchronized and the quality that you can get with this is really awesome. Look at the sun here. This is beautiful. Um, okay, so this is uh, this feature. We can get to, to that a little bit later. Um, what else do we have here? So that's basically the chat center. We also have emojis like any other solution out there. And we can download download the, the chat content. Here we also have on the right, we have a little bit of information about this customer when they last visited, when it was the first visit, um, and what were those website hits and similar similar information the desktop if they're using desktop or, or mobile here by the way uh, we can keep notes about this customer which will be permanently here they will not be part of the feed so for example if you want to put some generic note about this customer it will be here uh, another thing that's nice is the media so you can see all the media files that were sent from or to this customer images, call recordings, files, and voice messages. So everything you can see and track from here. Um, I think that's it for this uh, tab. Let's move to this appointment center. Okay, so the, basically every meeting starts with scheduling an appointment. Hey, no, they don't start with uh, scheduling because we just showed you that you can um, start a meeting directly from the website without having anything beforehand. But in some cases, you do want your customers to schedule appointments with you. For that, we have the appointment center. We believe that uh, meetings and scheduling need to be tied up together. And that's why we developed a two-way uh, scheduling or appointment scheduling solution. What two-way me two means? It means that you can send requests or appointment requests or invitations to your customers and your customers can send invitations to you and um, this is basically like taking zoom's uh scheduling feature and calendly and putting them together in one piece so the agenda this shows the meetings that are coming up 
uh, soon and for every meeting uh, that that I can click and see all the information. Um, I can also see them in the calendar view. And I, as I mentioned, I can send an invitation and my customer can send an invitation to myself. So let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna choose a day and a time. Oh, wait, this is not showing anything because I set no time as available. So let me just set this as available hours as all time, reload. And instead of having here nothing available to select from, I will see, yeah, now it's working. I can select, for example, uh, tomorrow. I can add another option. Now, this is really cool. Do you know this situation where someone tells you, hey, give me a few options and we'll schedule a meeting. So instead of going that back and forth, you just provide these few options here. So I can say, okay, Thursday or Friday, 6 a.m., and I'm giving them a few options, then they will need to select one of them. So I'm gonna put my email um, at test.com. I can add a note, note for the meeting and send the invitation. Now let's see what happens here on the left side. Ooh, we got an appointment invitation, let's open it. So we open it and we will immediately see the, the request here. And remember that I showed you that we provided two options. Now we need to select one of these. Once I select one of these, an email will be sent uh, to both sides saying that, hey, this meeting was confirmed at this and that time. For example, at Friday, 6.45 a.m. Uh, I accepted it and this is what it looks like. Let me reload this so we uh, just see this in action. Uh, while it reloads, Oh, so we have this other meeting with myself here in, at 6.45 tied up to my calendar. A, an, another important thing is what we can set in the schedule settings. But you know what, one, before that, one more, one more thing, any meeting can be rescheduled and we can suggest a new time and cancel a meeting and we can add it to our calendar. And basically that's that. Um, what can we schedule, what we can, what can we set in the schedule center or appointment center? So basically we can set the default meeting duration and the start time jumps. We can send a, or we can set what will be the page our customer will land when the meeting time arrives. We give them links in the emails and these links can either point to our click and talk page or our website. Uh, with the widget, uh, with the widget popping up on the right, uh, we can also set the time settings like MPM and, and when does the week start? Monday, Sunday. Uh, we can set our time zone and we can white label the emails. When we white label the emails, we have the uh, the, the ability to um, change this this the text that will be attached to the emails. Okay, so we can put some text in the email signature. And lastly, we enable syncing with Google Calendar and we can enable meetings automatically to be accepted. Now, this is an experimental feature, but it's really cool. So there are two options. You can you either want to expose your uh, calendar and then have customers select time slots. And once they select a, a, an, an available time slot, it will automatically be accepted or you don't want to expose your um, calendar and you want them to provide you or send you a few options and then you're, go you're going to accept one of them. So this really is selecting one of those two options. One last thing, we can set the available hours where when we are available. So we can either be all time or available at specific times. For example, Monday between 12 a.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning. Ooh, that's pretty early. Or Thursday between 12 and late night. It's is automatically saved. I can add another time range, by the way. I can remove them and I can set my calendar availability. Now let's go to 
set up the widget. And as a reminder, I just want to say this again, the widget and the click and talk page are a reflection of each other. So the feature that we have here on the bottom of the widget are basically the same features that we're going to see here on the click and talk page. Um, the links to the click and talk page, the easiest way to get links to the click and talk page is with this flag widget over here on the bottom. You hit it and you can copy it or send it, sorry, or send it at, to someone's email and it will automatically send the click and talk page. I'm going to open mine just so you see it and see what it is and how it works. And here I can start a call immediately or chat or schedule a meeting uh, or play around with all these. Um, I'm going to close this for now and close this. And what can we set up here in the widget center? Basically, by the way, every change that we make here on this center panel will be reflected here on the widget. So for example, if I want to turn this to, uh, I don't know, Japanese, this will become something in Japanese. What will not turn to, ja to Japanese is anything I set myself. For example, my name, which is a full name here, the title, which is set up here, and the website URL. By the way, why we need to set this website URL in order for these links to be available. What these links do, they open the widget on your website with the specific action that you chose. So for example, I'm going to open our website and we can see that the widget opened automatically on myself. And please remember, we had a multi widget here with a few agents. Okay. Um, all right, let's move to the automatic messages. Automatic messages are messages that help you do the first step with your customer. Okay, they're on a website. You send them, you, you show them this first initial message to start their interaction. Once they respond, you're supposed to take it from there. But you can select the message itself. This one will, be, will show when you're online. This one will show when you're offline. And this is the time it takes before we pop up the widget. Note that um, it will not show on every page. It will show once in a couple of hours because think about this, your customer moves on our website from page to page and you don't want to pop up this widget every time they move uh, from one page to the other. So it will show once in a couple of hours after this amount of seconds. Um, if the customer responds or sends you any question and you don't respond within this time in seconds, this message will be shown. So these are the automated message, but please remember, we're here to help you go personal with your customers. And that's what, why we, this is a little bit limited. If you need automation and bots, there are probably a few dozens of other solutions out there. Um, here you set up the communication channels. So all these widgets here on the bottom. Uh, you can play with their order by simply dragging them from one point to the other. So for example, I put the chat in front of the video and they just change the order over here. I can, for each and every one of these, I can select a few uh, things that I can set up. For example, this message over here, I can set it up here and change it. Uh, I can change this button instead of let's talk. Uh, let's have a great session together and this will be reflected here. But I'm going to back, going back to Let's Talk, that's my favorite. Um, we can set, for example, video only or audio only or both. Uh, in the contact form, we can set um, uh, the text that will be shown here on the top and the send button over here, you can also change that. This is called the call to action button. In the appointment center, we can also change this text. And the same applies for WhatsApp and Messenger, more or less the same. Now, this is on your website and you have your own colors and own, own color coding. And you wanna make Consulta look like something on your website. How do you do that? So you go to the widget center and the style and you start. you can start playing with it. So for example, these are the widget layouts that we have right now. We have this one and this one and this one 
if you want this text to change, you can take, uh, change it, of course. You can change the color to any color of your choice. And you can set the, the location of the widget. You can set um, the background when it's open. For example, if I want this to be, I don't know, purple, it will show purple. And you basically can set many of these colors and borders and sizes and stuff. So for example, we can make this super thick. Um, and now it shows nice. Oh, this, I have to change this. It's like, this is not so, okay. This looks maybe a little better. Okay. Um, last thing is the system bubbles. System bubbles are basically bubbles that neither you nor your customer uh, sends. It's something that the system shows or like a message to the customer. And these are shown here. And you can reset everything and go back to the original. Uh, the original. Four, I showed you how to charge your customers during the chat. You can also set the cost per session that will be charged before the session even starts. The way to do this is starting a session after sending that call request. So look what happens. I got a call request and this is showing me, hey, your peer is currently waiting for you to approve the call. If I approve the call, they will see that the peer is ready. Please start the payment. I start the payment and then it shows the PayPal as before. Now, if I continue with the payment, eventually we'll start the call. Otherwise, it will just cancel the call and they will see the agent will see, hey, we're sorry. It seems that your customer has canceled the payment process during the process. So that's how the payment works. Um, integrations. So today we send information to Google Analytics if you have it installed on your website. And we also send events to your website's front end. Okay, we just communicate with your website by sending events and receiving or listening to events from your website. You turn these on here. Advanced features. So if you want, for example, to uh, collect the lead information of your customer before chat or before call, you set these here. This means that the call will not start with the first click. It will start only after a customer fills their details. And it will show them a small form before that, before starting or the chat and or the call. You can uh, set the message there to collect the, the information. You can redirect. Okay, this is a cool feature. This is the probably the, the best uh, or the, the one of the great things in having a one solution that fit that has everything together. So let's see, let's say I'm a customer, I come to a consult a website or to your website and the agent, Elon in this case, is not available. I hit the video call button and instead of me being disappointed and going somewhere, somewhere else, I will see this message. Hey, I'm not available right now. Leave me a message or schedule a meeting with me. If I hit this, I start scheduling a message, sorry, scheduling a meeting with this agent. Why this is so important. People come to your website and you don't want, you're investing a lot of money and effort to bringing them to your website and you don't want to lose the leads once they're, once they're there and especially not if they started talking with you. So we have all that together and building such a solution with um, uh, Zoom and Calendly is practically impossible. Okay, the actions that you can take with when incoming calls are unanswered are uh, here and you can show up to two. So for example, for example, schedule a meeting or use the contact form or live chat or just retry the call. So each and every one uh, can work and you can leave the message that you wanna show if you don't answer. You can also white label the solution and it will just um, 
remove this get consulto from uh, the front end. Uh, 30 cents. So remember I showed you before how cool it is to show a product to my customer. So this is the back office of the 30 cents. This is where I select and upload uh, the files. These need to be in GLB format. I need to upload them. If you have any need for this, just contact us. Even if you don't have these images of your product, we can connect you with one of our partners. They will be happy to assist you with building these three models of your product. Um, once we have the products here, we can select the, the save the default view. For example, I want to start with showing only the wheel. And once the product uh, shows to myself and my customer, this will be the first view that we will see. Um, can change the name and burn the thumbnail. So basically we know which uh, image is here by this is by the thumbnail that we captured. Okay, this is the 3D Sense and let's move to the installation. So installing Consulto uh, is explained in another session, but just in a few words, if you want to use the single widget, you will use this um, copy button here. You have lots of instructions here in the video and here in this link, so follow them. One of the coolest things that I think this is super useful with Consulto is that you can use your own buttons to trigger actions on your website. What this means is that you can use the chat button, the video chat button, uh, audio appointment, and open, just open the widget on your website. I'll show you what this means in actions, what this means in action. You have this a listing page, okay? This listing page has a lot of customers or sorry, lots of agents from your website. And you can see that this one, by the way, is tied up to my, if I go green, if I set myself to green, it will become green immediately. And also this one. But what I can do, I can hit this button and this button will automatically communicate with the widget and trigger the call in this case, or the chat. Let's see this in action. By the way, all these are connected to our customer success specialist, Tali. So I just opened Tali's chat. And I can do the same with uh, opening the video call or schedule, etc. And basically the instructions how to connect a button on a website to the consultant widget is can be found here. And here you just copy paste these buttons for everyone. If you want to install the click and talk page as an iframe, you can copy this, read the instructions here, and you can use it as an iframe as well. I think we went through the entire widget center. Let's go to the team center. The team center is where you manage your team. Uh, the first thing that we should talk about is the team widget. The team widget unlike any other chat solution out there, has multiple agents on the widget. And the reason we did this is that unlike chat, where behind the chat, there could be many agents, which are basically faceless, in video conferencing, when you communicate with customers, eventually they will go on a meeting with you. In these cases, uh, you want a list of agents for the customer to select from. And this is the list of agents that we provide. That's why we have the multi-agent widget and the single agent widget. So if you have multiple agents and you want a uh, multiple agents to be shown on a widget, you have this uh, multi-agent widget. You can set the image of it, the, the language of it, the team name. And uh, one of the questions that many ask is, can I set this in one language and each and every agent with another language and the answer is yes once we open the widget of this specific agent everything here is configured within the widget center of that specific agent and talking about that specific agent the way to configure for someone in your account is by using this strip here on the top it's accessible and, and available only to teams where there is more than one agent in the account and when i select one of the agents everything changes here to that agent's profile in the widget center in the uh, overview tab 
and basically any, anywhere else. What we cannot provide right now is anything that's private. So anything that's private, you will not see, uh, but you'll see your own. The reason is that we, um, we don't share any private data with anyone besides the person who was part of that uh, communication. Okay, so going back, again, we, we, I just showed you what happens when I configure for someone else, but here in the team center, I can't configure for anyone else. That's why I need to be with my own or my, my, admin, my admin account. So here I set all the info. Here I can set the team members and I can add team members to my team with this button. I need to provide their email and password and first name and last name and just invite them and they will receive an email and they will join. I can set the, I can see here the list of emails or list of names the, in, in my account. Once I hit one of them, I can see a, all the information that I have of them. So let's choose, for example, an Amanda. I see her name, last name, the order of appearance. This is the order on this multi-agent widget. I see her email, her agent ID, and page matches. Page matches will affect on which pages this agent will be shown. So if I have here, for example, my website is www.consulto.com slash Amanda. This means that Amanda will be shown only on this page and not on any other page. If I want another page, I just do www.consulto.com slash Amanda2, and she will also be shown on this page specifically. Um, I can also set up the features of Amanda. Now, this is a really cool feature because it lets us uh, strip out the complexity of the, the back office for agents that don't need to handle anything but answer calls and chats and, and meetings. So, for example, I can show Amanda only the overview tab, this one here, the chat center, this one here, the appointment center, and strip out or remove all of the other ones. So when Amanda joins or logs in to Consulto back office, she will not see the widget center. She will not see their personal settings and, and anything else. Um, let's talk about the widget itself. This is the multi or the team widget. This team widget uh, can be turned on and off here. Unlike this one that controls my single widget, this one controls the team widget. Page matches for the entire team widget means these are the pages where the customers will be presented with this widget. Otherwise, it will be just hidden. The widget starts with an agent list. Basically, either I can start with this list of agents or it can start closed. Um, maximum number of widgets or agents on the widget per page. On Consulto's account, we have uh, two agents and that's what we show at any point in time. Uh, prioritize agents by availability and filter them by availability. So let's say that you want to prioritize agents by or, or put the, the ones that are right now available. And when I say available, they're available and not busy and not offline. Um, you want them to be on the top. And those who are not available, you want them to roll to the bottom. So you turn this off sorry, turn this on and it will push up those who are available. If you want to remove those who are not available, you will use this filter agents by availability. Um, like the single widget, we also have styling uh, for this multi-widget, including when it's closed and when it's open. We have integrations similar to the single widget Google Analytics and website integrations. And this is the installation button, sorry, installation code for the team widget. This is super important that if you want to see the list of agents and the team widget, you use this link or this script. And if you want a single agent widget that will show only one agent, this one, use the one from the uh, widget center. Lastly, we have the personal settings. And the more important thing here is that you have um, the billing section where you can change your plan. 
you have the notifications. These are the notifications that we'll send to you and the emails and, um, and phone number where we can send it to. So you can get notifications for chats, for calls, and for contact form submissions. Um, if you would like to send data from Consulto to a third party like Zapier or your own servers with webhooks, you set it up here. And this is a good moment to invite you to join our partner program. Uh, just click this button and you'll be taken to this page, fill in your details, submit it. You can read about our partner or affiliate program here. We have both affiliate and partner links and uh, we'd be happy to, uh, to have you as a partner in our community. Once you join to our partner program, you will have another tab on your Consulto back office, which is called Partner Zone. The Partner Zone shows uh, which clients you invited. So this is the invitation flow. You can invite clients to your um, uh, to, to partner with uh, with Consulto. And once you invite them, they will be assigned to you. And you can see the amount of active and total customers here, the revenue, and uh, you can also set your PayPal account here so we can send uh, your money out. Of course, you get affiliate links. So read out a little bit uh, what are the what is the main difference between the affiliate links and the partner program or sorry the partner uh, invitation flow and uh, yeah join us I think with that said we went through everything or the entire system if you have any questions we'd be super happy to answer and um, let's go personal again thank you.